What's up guys, we got a question from Mike the White Belt who is getting ready for his first competition in six weeks and as he's getting ready for it, he's dialing in on you know his go-to techniques, right? And so as he's doing this, he's wondering if getting ready for a competition and having a more competitive mindset, he's wondering does that hurt your overall learning in jiu-jitsu, right? So does being more competitive, does it hurt your learning progress in jiu-jitsu? So Mike, thanks for the question, brother. And years ago I listened to a lecture series on how we learn, right? And when you think about jujitsu, that's essentially what's going on day to day. You basically, you take a technique, you take a position, whatever you're working on, you try it out during drilling and practice, you then do it during rolling, and when you do it during rolling, rolling is a big feedback loop. So you do it, you see how it works. Did it work? Did it not work so well? Could it be better? Or did it work perfectly? Great. Well then you learn about that technique and you get better and better at it, right? That's why, you know, an, a white belt can learn an arm bar and they and they get better and better at it. Even as a black belt, you can still improve. You're always getting better at it because you're always learning more about that technique. And so there's two different mindset shifts that they spoke about in this lecture that happen based on stress, right? It's essentially that's the difference, right? When you get into a competitive mindset, your stress level goes up versus the more relaxed mindset of just everyday training. And it's a neat thing that happens with your mind. So when you get into this relaxed mindset that's a little bit more conducive to learning, well essentially think about it this way. In your brain, imagine you have all these different thoughts sort of like plotted out, like these little islands everywhere of thoughts and techniques and ideas, right? In a relaxed mindset, your body can bridge these different ideas together and make new connections to them much more effectively and easier, much, much more efficiently. When you're in a very competitive mindset, your body again gets stressed out and your body's not really good at disseminating between what's perceived stress and what's real stress and so it gets really stressed out and it's basically your fight or flight mechanism and it zeroes in, it gets tunnel vision, right? So it only really has access to the stuff that you do the most. And so again, this is why you go to a competition and you can only use a few things very effectively and a lot of times you'll know other stuff but you have a brain fart about it. You're like, I couldn't you know, recall this one technique and again, that's because your body has zeroed in on just a few things and so all that other stuff on the periphery just doesn't have access to it anymore, right? And this is why when you might get into a relaxed mindset, you might have that flow mind state which we've all experienced when you're more relaxed and you're just kind of going for stuff, you start just pulling weird things out of your ass and you're just doing weird techniques you've never seen before but you're like, that was super cool. So to get to your question, now that we had kind of identified that, does being in a competitive mindset, does it hurt your overall learning progress? Kind of, but not necessarily. When you're getting ready for a competition, you're taking your weapons that you have, right? And in a competition, it's not about having the most weapons, it's about having just a few weapons that you're good with, a good few techniques, and having those things super sharp, right? So when you're getting into that competitive mindset, you're sharpening your tools, sharpening your weapon, weapon, weapons, and getting them ready for battle. And then when you go back, out of that mindset, when you come back from the competition and you relax a little bit and you have some fun with training, right? Then that's when you're getting into that more relaxed mindset and that's where you're starting to basically have a little bit more fun and you go into research and development. You start to play around with different stuff. You start to mess things up. You start to try to bring in new techniques. And then when you go back into the competitive mindset, maybe you can take one of those new techniques you've learned and then you start sharpening it up and getting it ready. And so you kind of go back and forth. They both have a really useful task or useful purpose, it just, again, they're not the same. So it doesn't necessarily hurt your overall learning progress, it just narrows the focus for a while. But they're really useful because there's guys that never compete or never take on that competitive mindset, they never get that aggressive mindset, and they don't really have sharp weapons. They have trouble applying their techniques against someone. But then you have people that never get out of that competitive mindset, and this is we, me back in the day, I was always super competitive, and then I wasn't able to play around with different stuff, so my game was very small. So you gotta have to have both a little bit. Being able to bounce back and forth between them allows you to have both an expanded game and a sharp game. And this way you can have those techniques when you have to have some go-tos, you have them, but then you also have the ability to play with other stuff so that your game continues to grow. So I hope that little chunk there made sense to you, Mike. I think your name is actually Clarky. But again, thank you for the question, brother. And guys, I'll talk to you next time.